This is a Chucky Beat production. production. Is what it do, what it did. It is your boy, the voice of Khan, aka Revalo 11, aka Revalo 12, aka the R, aka the man with too many damn names. And we are back. That's right, we are back with a new video. We got new guns. We need a new video to get these new guns to Black Sky. So that's what you see here, I'm on the black sky grind, but I got a lot of questions, uh, comments, and mainly questions, as far as how do you grind it out with patience, or the, uh, let your stats suffer, whatever it may be, but well, plain and simple. I don't look at the stats. The stats for me, they mean nothing. I was playing with another big YouTuber one time and he asked me, he was like, hey, why are you, why is your KD so low? Well, cause I really don't care about the KD. This was doing Black Ops 3, so most of the time I'm sniping, or well, often, I won't say most of the time, but a lot of time when I play COD, I'm sniping, so. That game made a pretty big nerf to the sniper, sniper rifles that is, and the removal of the aim assist, the target assist, the whatever assist. And I just couldn't quite get right. I'm the kind of guy, I'm not going really for clips. So I'll whip out the pistol with the secondary in a heartbeat to get the kill, to keep the streak going. But without that target assist, it was, it was too much for me. It's another reason I probably didn't have that much fun in Black Ops 3. Because it's extremely tough to switch from a gun with no target assist to a gun with target assist and back and forth it's exhausting I can't kill this guy but as there are a lot of things going on in the world and in the interest of full disclosure I figured I'd bring you this video showing you some gameplay of me getting the the new guns, or at least this one, to Black Sky, or at least some of the gameplay from that journey along that road. You did? So once again, like I said, I really don't care about the stats. I play the game more for the wins. And this is not a dig at anyone. Uh oh, camp in the back of the map. It's not a dig to anyone who does play for stats or whatever it may be what really that is sad he killed himself but it's not why I play the game I play the game for the competition I told you several times my heroes Muhammad Ali Michael Jordan Tiger Woods winners so that's why I play the game for the wins does it mean I went all the time? No, but that's what I'm playing for. So some other of the bigger YouTube channels you may be aware of, they do this thing called lobby shopping. This is a it's, not my, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. I rarely even check to see what the stats are of the people in the lobby before the game. Just load up the game and let's get it. So before this match as we get the win there was another match before this one you know I'll flip the order for you 
to make a better story. Once again, not a dig at the people who lobby shop. I, I just don't do it. I'm gonna jump in when we gonna fight, then we gonna win, or we're gonna lose. Stats be damned. So as you see, we have some beefs in this lobby. Like I said, I flipped the gameplay up. They weren't in that gameplay you just saw. Maybe because I took on the sweat offensive and put them down. Now this is a tough lobby, so I do expect some deaths once again, not playing for that KD, trying to get this gun to Black Sky. But as I saw the lobby, I realized you know, this gun's not that accurate and has a slow firing. I may not want to go for as many headshots as I may usually try to do as we take that death. And as we take another death, like I said, I can't kill that guy. But we're working on it. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Please subscribe. <laughs> but as you see putting it work now at the end of the game I'm the first one to tell you a good game you don't have to tell me I really don't care most of the time play with the lobby media especially Black Ops 3 as it did have that option I just played with every lobby muted but like I said I play for the competition and does it mean that, yes, I'll take a few deaths? Yes, it does. Does it mean that I'll take on some players better than me? Obviously, look at the lobby leaderboard before we jump into this match. Oh, shoot my dead body. That's how you feel? Okay. Let's see if we can't put an end to this shit. Oh, that's you? I can't hit you, but you can't hit me. <laughs> So, after this game pay, play, uh, game pay, game play. People, you know what we do. Once I started, I don't stop it. Coming at you fresh off of the dome. So I'll show you some of my stats. And my stats are about probably where they were in every other, well not every other Call of Duty. I think it was slightly better by the time I finished Black Sky, or Black Sky Dark Matter, Black Ops 3. Uh, but just one of those things I never really look at. Like I told you in the Fractured video, I really don't check my stats that often. I don't care about my stats. I know what I can do. Kind of like those great players, sometimes I just play and when time being, or when the time calls, I turn up. So I, I noticed myself, and this may help some of you when playing this game of Black Ops 3 is with the advanced movement systems, even advanced warfare, is that sometimes I don't go in, all in, balls out. I just want to casually play without playing as fast as you have to play to get the win. And sometimes, yeah, yeah I'm just killing time or just getting headshots, slide kills, whatever it may be. And so yeah, the stats suffer there. And ultimately I may back out of a lobby because this is a just frustrated if everybody's running synaptic like half of the lobby you see here. It's a little frustrating. So I'll back out of the lobby, but it, hey, once again, I'm not playing for those stats. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Mm. But as you see here, I never check the leaderboard. Once the game starts, I'll check the leaderboard when the game ends. And maybe that'll help some of you if you're struggling at this game or other cards. Just let go of the stats and play the game for what it is. Play the game to try to win. And this has to be the most, I mean the most, inaccurate pistol. I wanted a glorious final kill cam there instead got killed but we'll take this win and oh did we just dominate this lobby with my little 1.171 kd you saw before we jumped in here and that's what it said it's 1.171 positive with every gun in the game that guy's a little salty 
positive with every gun in the game, but negative with only the howitzer at a point seven. And God bless it, people, I have almost a thousand kills with that gun to get it to Black Sky. Now, you saw me looking around. There's a spawn right there, and there was a spawn where you saw me looking up. And there's another spawn above that guy that you saw me kill right when the game started. Not the best place to spawn in, but people ask me, hey, why don't you have a deatomizer? Well, frankly, because I've never really gone for one. I'll show you some stats. I've gotten close a few times, but I... Uh, camper alert. But I wasn't really going for it. What in the fresh hell was that shit? I mean, come on, the gun's not that in I, I, I told you, I can't kill this guy. But you know what? He got me a couple of times, so I owe him a couple. That was one, and that was two. Want to go for three? Hmm? All right, cool. Huh? Yeah, he wants to go for three. <laughs> so, I thought about this after the Black Sky journey, because it is a journey. It is especially with that howitzer, it is soul changing, is check the hip fire. Do you understand? Yeah. I was thinking about it, I was like, well, I really don't care about my stats, but maybe some of my subs do. So once again, full disclosure, I show you what my stats were, which was the lowest it's been uh, since this game started, the 1.71. But you, my subscribers, my viewers may want a higher KD, so I've been working on it. Uh, I got it Black Sky, what, last week? So this is basically just one week of play, and as I'll show you a little bit later, this we have increased it significantly. Even though I have a shitload of kills, it is hard to change that KD on top of having 13 days played. But that's what I'm doing for you. Have I ever this gotten the deatomizer or something? No, I haven't. Been close a few times. It was 22 and 0. Did that. Well, 22 KD. Well, I was 22 and 1, technically. Uh, with the intervention, the TF141. Had 19 kills with a gun with a new variant. The EBR 800 Purge. Plus the EMC Calamity. That's my secondary. We got to 19 kills. As you see here, it's climbing up. We got a 1.2 there. And as you see in the next screenshot, 1.217. We're on the rise. We're coming up. So, for the rest of this game, I promise to you to be more aware, more conscious of my KD. But like I said, first and foremost, I'm going to go for the victory. It's, that means more to me than the stats but what it means is I won't take so many reckless chances as I usually do I have a sniper mentality folks I'm a sniper look at the clan tag that means I'm always jumping into it trying to hit a clip even though I don't really go for clips go figure I just want to get as many kills and become the human aimbot as I have referenced before on this channel if I get a quad feed, I get a quad feed. I mean, I've got several quad feeds. I'm sure I've showed you a few of them. You know our motto. Always be quad feeding them and misleading them. So in this gameplay, as you can see, we're on a roll. But as there is no nuke variant of this pistol, there will be no nuke. There's the brutal, but I did get one kill with a vulture. There's a 25 gun streak, folks. Holla at your boy. Who needs target assist? Not us. Even across the map. <laughs> Man. I love this game. I love you guys. Now I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that this has been a one take production. Unedited. Uncut. Unfettered. Real. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the video. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. It inspires me to inspire you. Hey, have a good day. Mars eternal, bitches.